hi guys welcome to my city um today's video we're going to be looking at a very important header the http um www iphone authentication um this header is very important when we want to restrict user from accessing a particular page on our website and this can also be um coded using dot htss but for um for we that want to use the um that want to use php to restrict user from accessing a particular page um there's this ww iphone authentication what it does is that it requires it prompts be when the users access the website the particular page it prompts the user for user hide user name and password and according to the standard of ww authentication it is said that we should um we should um use this base 64 encoding to convert the both the username and password so as for um you know for security purpose it's just for security purpose so let's just get started i have created a file called authentication.php and which is where we are going to perform every of our scripting so what we need is just a bare bone of bare php code and the very important thing is to include this wonderful header the header containing the ww iphone authenticates okay so we want to use from the authentication we want to use the basic algorithm for the authentication pxic and we can also give an additional information like the, the rem what the rem does is just it gives an additional title to the prompt so it should just be like if i should write if i should input um mm, it's just more like a title a add title for the prompt let me say verify your identity okay so this is going to be what um, the user is going to see on top of the prompt but I discover it doesn't really work for localhost it works for online save services or it works for maybe um, an updated um, WAMP server so let's just save this and move to the browser to test so we get this prompt so it requires username um, 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 the ring is supposed to be around here it's just like a title stating that um, verification is verify your identity should be stated on this particular portion but it doesn't seem to work but the username and password now is now depends on we we can either connect the username and password to our database we should fetch if the username provided by the user is available in our database or we can just make a manual um something like we can access this variable username password by using a global variable php which is called let me just name it um which is called um global we can use the global server to access the php authentication user we can also access the password by using the same thing which is equals to um which is equals to sorry which is equals to server php this time it is pw for password so according to the um, to the standard for using this um authenticate www dot ww iphone authenticate uh it is said to use this algorithm called 
um, base 64 encode encode to just make the password and the username private or secured just to keep give it an encrypted value we can also do the same thing to the password okay now let's use an if statement to check if um, the username or password is empty we should prompt a particular error if it is if it is not we should also preview the page that it, that is supposed to be previewed so i'm going to use an if statement if user if empty user sorry my keyboard if empty user and and empty password or we also check if the value is not the value we want it to be like or or user is not equals to let's just say uh, we need to do the same algorithm here be 64 and code for the password let's say the pass um, the username is palito and let's just copy this for the password because we want the password to also be the same thing as that and let's just change it to pass okay it's not equals to palito then this should occur it should prompt out this this header i mean else there should be an echo of welcome okay okay let's just for just to be in case we want the user to know why they can't access that particular site that particular page so we can just say access denied so it's a 404 error a bit yeah it's a 404 i think 404 401 that is unauthorized okay now let's test okay let's keep it palito palito so we have welcome to palito dude okay now let's try doing this again but this time we're going to impute a wrong password and username something is not working right okay access denied okay thank you for watching this very long tutorial i would like you to subscribe and you know follow on follow up with um new series videos because i'm going to be uploading videos on um css best practice um cmd on windows and i'm going to be including akin videos for